Okay, this morning, you should have no problem understanding what we're doing because it's something that we've done in Algebra 1, you've done it in Algebra 2, and it's solving systems of equations. Okay, so we are jumping all the way to Chapter 7, and we're solving systems by elimination and substitution. Now, what we need to do is a system of equations is two equations that have the same solution. So if 2x plus 3y is 11 and 5x minus 2y is 18, we need to be able to find a solution to that equation. So you might be asked, like, is 5, 1 a solution to this equation? Okay, so looking at 5, 1, if we stick a 5 in there in for x and a 1 in there for y, is that a solution to the equation? And the answer is no. Okay, it is definitely not a solution to the equation. Okay, now if we stuck a number like, oh, seven negative one in there is that a solution to this systems of equations if we stick it in for the first one we get 14 minus 3 is that 11 yes if we stick it in the second one it's 35 plus 2 is that 18 no so is 4, 2 a solution to the systems of equations? No. How about 4, 1? Boy, Mr. Sims was really quick to say yes there. But of course he is correct. It is a solution to those equations. All right. So let's look at substitution first. If x plus 2y equals 12 and 3x minus 4y equals 14. How would we solve this by substitution? To solve by substitution, we need to get one of our variables alone. We look for the easiest variable to get alone. What's the easiest variable to get alone? X in the first equation. So x equals 12 minus 2y. So then we take the 12 minus 2y and plug it in for the x of the second equation. So 3 times 12 minus 2y minus 4y equals negative 14. Okay, so if we distribute 36 minus 6y equal or minus 4y equals negative 14. So 36 minus 10y equals negative 14. Then what do we do to each side? Subtract 36. So negative 10y equals negative 50. So y must equal 5. 
So if y equals 5, we stick it into this equation to figure out what x equals. x equals 12 minus 2 times 5. x equals 12 minus 10. x equals 2. So the point 2, 5 would be the solution to both equations. We good there. Okay. So that's substitution. Now let's look at elimination. If 3x plus 2y equals negative 1 and 4x minus 2y equals negative 6, what's the solution? Well, you're looking for opposites here. And we have opposites here, so we want to add our columns. So if we add our columns, we get 7x equals negative 7. If we divide by 7, x equals negative 1. But that only gives me x. How do I find y? Plug it in. So we use substitution in the elimination method. It's just after the first step. So negative 3 plus 2y equals negative 1. If we move the 3 over, we add 3. So 2y equals 2, y equals 1. So negative 1, 1 is our solution. All right, now this one's a little harder because we don't have opposites. And I just can't multiply a row by a negative 1 to create opposites. So what variable do you want to create opposites out of? Does it really matter? Not really. So let's create opposites out of our y's. To create opposites out of our y's, we multiply by the opposite thing. So... If we have a 3 here and a 2 down here, we multiply the top row by 2. And then I'll multiply the bottom row by a negative 3 to create opposites. So then I have 10x plus 6y equals 24. And negative 12x minus 6y equals negative 30. If we add negative 2x equals negative 6, divide by negative 2 x equals 3. Once x equals 3, then you use substitution again. And you can go back to a original equation. 5 times 3 plus 3y equals 12. So 15 plus 3y equals 12. We subtract 15. 3y equals negative 3. y equals negative 1. For this one, how do I create opposites? Multiply my bottom row by 2. So I have 2x plus 4y equals 7. And negative 2x minus 4y equals 10. So if we add our columns, I get 0 and 0. So 0 equals 17. What does that tell me? This is no solution. Because 0 does not equal 17. Let's take a similar example.
what do I here do here? Multiply the top by negative 2. So I get negative 10x minus 4y equals negative 20. And 10x plus 4y equals 20. If I add, I get 0 equals 0. What's the solution for this one? It's not no solution. It's infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Because 2, 0 would be a solution. Okay? In both equations. Another solution might be 4, negative 5 in both equations. 4, negative 5 is the solution. And I can go on and on and on and find more and more solutions. So that's infinitely many solutions. Okay? So in your first assignment today, you'll get some where, well, you'll get one where you just have to plug in the variable and see if it works or not. Then we'll use substitution to solve, and then you'll have elimination problems to solve. Okay? So there you go. I will put it out there.